I'm doing a great British Bake Off 2024 bake along. Let's get into Caramel Week. This week's signature bake, caramel biscuits, for which I decided to make coffee salted caramel millionaire shortbread. Try saying that five times fast. Anyway, this was one of my favorite styles of bakes, what I like to call a component bake, where you essentially make a bunch of individual elements and then just put it all together at the end. So first things first, we needed some shortbread. I went with the traditional Scottish shortbread base, which is just flour, sugar, salt, and butter pulsed together until a dough forms and then pressed into a lined nine by nine pan. You then need to poke some holes in it with a fork and then let it chill in the fridge for at least two hours. Once firm, I popped this into the oven to bake for about 30 minutes and then started on my second component, the coffee salted caramel. Now full transparency, when I was planning this bake, I planned to do a coffee shortbread. And as you can see from this video, that didn't happen. Why you ask? Because I just straight up forgot so we pivoted and now we're making a coffee salted caramel. Now a classic millionaire shortbread uses a caramel that has sweetened condensed milk as a base, but I really love my salted caramel recipe and wanted to see if I could make that work for this. I read online that the caramel needs to reach 225 degrees in order to set properly, so I did that and crossed my fingers that everything was going to work out. And you'll just have to watch to the end to see whether that was a good idea or not. Once the base was nice and brown, I repoked the holes, as that's something I do with my lemon bars to help make sure that the topping adheres well, and then poured over my coffee salted caramel. I then popped this into my fridge to set overnight. The next day, it was time to make the last two components and finish building these caramel biscuits. I started by roasting off some hazelnuts to top my finished biscuits, got those nice and golden brown, removed the skins, and then chopped them up into small pieces. I set those aside and then made my dark chocolate ganache. I opted to go with dark chocolate as overall I knew that these biscuits would likely lean quite sweet, so I wanted something that would help balance everything out. This was super easy and just required melting the chocolate chips and cream together in a microwave and mixing until smooth. Once ready, it was biscuit building time. I poured on the ganache, making sure that it reached the edges, and gave it a nice little swirl on top and then sprinkled on the roasted hazelnuts. I then popped this in the fridge for about 30 minutes to set, and that was it. Look how pretty these turned out. I removed the biscuit block from the pan, and now for the moment of truth. Did we actually get layers, and did the caramel set? I squared off the edges to help make them a little bit more even and to hopefully reveal the layers better, and then tried cutting them into 16 relatively even pieces with the help of a ruler. Now this was a bit of a mess. The edges were pretty set, but the middle, yeah, not so much. I did end up with a few biscuits that were set, so for a first attempt, I was pretty happy with that. Now taste-wise, the biscuit base was super buttery, the coffee, salt, and dark chocolate helped to balance out the sweetness beautifully, and the hazelnuts helped add a little extra texture and a nice background nuttiness. These might be one of the prettiest and most professional looking things I've baked in a really long time. Cheers. That is one decadent caramel biscuit. Wow. It actually leans a little bit more on the rich side and a little bit less on the sweet side, which I'm actually pretty happy about because I was worried about how sweet these were gonna be. My only thing about this is I'm not sure if this would entirely be considered a set caramel. It's like mostly set, but it's definitely got a little bit of drippage going on. So, I'll improve my dignity for that. Overall though, I would consider this an incredibly successful Caramel Week bake. I'll see you back here for Pastry Week.